The biggest game in the Gila Valley on Friday was the Thatcher Eagles taking on the visiting Tucson Sabino Sabercats for the first time. And we've got all the highlights fit to view, so let's get it on. This highlight video is sponsored by Copper Hills Dentistry. With amenities designed to keep patients comfortable and relaxed, Copper Hills Dental is your choice for anxiety-free dentistry. Visit our website and Facebook page or simply call 428-2750 to schedule your appointment today. That's Copper Hills Dental. The Eagles avoided an early tragedy when Slade Shoop attempted to return the opening kickoff, but Naziah Stubblefield pokes the ball out. However, Jesse Green was Johnny on the spot and recovered for Thatcher. After a holding call, Thatcher dug itself deeper in the hole when Wyatt Larson couldn't gather in the low snap and then threw the ball away to avoid the sack. The refs called intentional grounding since there wasn't a receiver in the area. Facing third and 44 from their own four-yard line, the Eagles ran a reverse with Cody Jones, and Larson gets a block to spring him. It's Jones around the left side, and he's off to the races, and he could almost go all the way, but Will White manages to catch him, but not until Jones goes 63 yards for the first down. A few plays later, Joshua Mangun capped off the initial drive as he follows his blockers along the left side and dives into the end zone for the 21-yard score to put Thatcher up early 7-0. Kainoa's Hawaiian Grill is the spot in Thatcher to enjoy healthy Hawaiian food with a friendly atmosphere and great service. Order in person or by the phone or online to see the tasty treat everyone is talking about. That's Kainoa's Hawaiian Grill. Then it was Thatcher's defense's turn, and on third and five, Jacob Rasmussen got to Sabino's Devin Waxwood, forcing a fourth down punt. Thatcher methodically moved the ball down the field, and Larson kept it on this play to set up the Eagles with a first and goal from the nine. Aiden Bingham then capped off the drive as he slid in untouched for the four-yard score to put Thatcher up 13-0. Sabino got on the board on its next possession, however, when Waxwood hit a wide-open Robert Maltzby for the 59-yard pitch and catch, but Thatcher still led 13-7. The Eagles came right back, however, and on third and three, Mangum puts on the brakes, hurt, and cuts back up the middle, and he could almost go all the way, but is just caught by Isaiah Aguirre after a 27-yard pickup. The Eagles then inserted Brandon Napier in at quarterback, and he keeps it on the option to the right and goes 22 yards to put Thatcher knocking on the red zone. On fourth and goal from the five, Bingham gets the handoff, and there's a pile up at the goal line as he stretches into the end zone. The refs got together to talk about it and then confirmed the touchdown for Thatcher. Napier then kept it himself and went head over heels over the goal line on the two-point conversion to put the Eagles up 21-7. On their next possession, Thatcher took to the air as Larson found a wide open Slade Shoop and they're not gonna catch him as Shoop goes 67 yards to pay dirt to put Thatcher up 27 to 7 at the half. Whether you need regular pest control or have bigger problems including termites or bed bugs, Rattlesnake Exterminating is your one call to handle them all. Killer bees threatening your family? Then give Rattlesnake Exterminating a call at 485-8904. It took less than a minute for Sabino to score upon return to action in the third quarter as Waxwood drops back to pass but then sees the lane. He makes a move, whoop, and then another, whoop and Maltzby signals the TD as Waxwood takes it in from 31 yards out to cut into Thatcher's lead 27-14. After moving the ball downfield, Napier thinks about pitching the option to Mangum, then decides to reverse his field instead and puts on the gas and he goes 25 yards for the score to put Thatcher back up 33-14. Sabino would come back, however, and Waxwood hit Maltzby who just stays in bounds long enough to score the 14-yard TD to cut into the Eagles' lead again, 33-21. The Sabercats then attempted an onside kick, and while the refs initially gave them the ball, they had another conference and correctly called that Levi Miranda touched the ball at Sabino's 49-yard line, just one yard shy of the 10 required before the kicking team can legally recover it. Sabino then got its ground game going as Chris Blackman picks up 16 yards on a nice run to put the Sabercats into Eagles territory at the end of the third quarter. 
Roadrunner Rehab has been helping Gila Valley residents and athletes achieve their peak performance for over 30 years. They are now offering occupational therapy and adult speech therapy to assist in all your rehabilitation needs. Whether they're getting you back to work or back on the field, they're here to help you. We're on the first play of the fourth quarter. Waxwood drops back to pass. He does a pump and then throws one over the middle right into the arms of Slade Shoop, who gathers the INT to turn the ball back over to Thatcher. The Eagles would capitalize on the turnover as Larson drops back deep and sets up the screen to Bingham, who looks to be boned for a loss, but he dodges away from Cameron Hackworth, and then it's off to the races down the right sideline. Bingham spies Cameron Gambrel at the 10, and he puts on the brakes, and then accelerates and dives into the pylon for the 40-yard score to put Thatcher up 39-21. On 4th and 7 from their own 18, Waxwood drops back and finds Aguirre, who gets immediately taken down by Jesse Green at the 25-yard line. Now, what should have been a first down ended up being a turnover on downs, however, as an unfavorable spot gives the ball back to the Eagles. A few plays later, Jones follows a convoy of Eagles on the reverse and takes it in 10 yards for the score to put the Eagles up 45-21. Optimal Health Systems in Pima is the original whole food supplement company with its high-potency whole food formulas absorbable at the cellular level. Come in to OHS today and try our blend of supplements that thousands of doctors and athletes have used for decades. The Sabre Cats never stop coming, however, and Blackman peels off a nice run up the middle going 37 yards on his longest run of the night. After an unsportsmanlike penalty on Thatcher, Waxwood fakes the handoff to Aguirre and then takes it in himself from 13 yards out, but it wasn't enough as Thatcher remained unbeaten with the 45-28 victory. Uh, I think I kind of just found my opening. I mean, I caught it and there was a guy and I, I found my opening to the outside and then I cut back and made a good cut to, that, to make it to the end, of the end zone. Stuck it out, got it to the pylon. Practice to, uh, to find an open hole. I mean, open grasses. Good yardage. Good yardage for the team. Uh, I think we played a great game. I mean, <laughs> I think we played a great, great game. I mean, we came out prepared. I mean, we've been prepared, preparing for it all week. Uh, nothing else better to say. I mean, everyone played great. We had some flaws, but overall, great win. Congratulations. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, they are more athletic than we are by quite a bit. And uh, our job was just to try to contain that. We knew we had a bit of size on them, so we wanted to try to impose our will up front. And uh, it, it kind of worked out to what we wanted to do. So we try to hang our hat on defense. We want to be you know, as tough as we can be. And uh, so, yeah, a couple letdowns, but all in all, I think it was a pretty good game plan. We did all right. We've got ALA, Gilbert North, uh, Push Ridge, and Safford. So the end of the schedule is pretty brutal. But uh, we're going to try to polish it and be all ready for that. Go Eagles. That was beautiful. Thatcher did a, a very good job. They, they ran their stuff. Um, it's a very good football team. Um, we had some balls bounce, not bounce our way. So that's where we're at right now. So we got to go regroup back in Tucson. Um, and I'm very confident with our team. So we got to make sure we make, fix our mistakes and come back ready to go. Thatcher's one heck of a team. And uh, we we're happy to play them. And hopefully we get the, the privilege to play them again. Reporting from Thatcher for the Gila Herald, I'm John Johnson.